Once a new project has been created, we are ready to perform camera pose recovery. Click on the camera icon to initiate feature tracking and camera pose recovery. PhotoSketch prompts the user to select between one of two feature matching modes, automatic or manual. In this tutorial, we will talk about the manual mode. Click No to perform manual feature matching. The manual tracking tool now shows the first input photo. You can press the left or right arrow keys on the keyboard to go back and forth in the sequence. Let's begin by tracking a feature in the first photo. Press K to start adding new features. The cursor now changes from a white arrow to a black crosshair. Move the mouse to the top of the roof to select the first feature. Clicking the left mouse button raises a magnifier window. The black crosshair is now replaced with a red crosshair. Drag the mouse to slide the feature under the red crosshair in the magnifier. Release the mouse button once the alignment is complete. We now automatically advance to the next photo. Repeat the process on the next photo. Note that a window showing the neighborhood of the previous feature point is attached alongside the cursor. This serves as a visual cue to remind the user of the feature that is to be tracked. Click and drag the same feature point under the crosshair in the magnifier window. Continue tracking the feature across the input photos until it is not visible in the sequence anymore. Then, press K to close the current track. You may press the left arrow key to go back to the first photo where you can select additional features such as corners on the windows and roof. There are some features that only begin to manifest later in the input sequence. In those cases, you can directly start at those photos to begin feature tracking. Use the left and right arrow keys to navigate to the desired photo. To remove a track, click the left mouse near the desired track. The track color will change from yellow to cyan. Then, press the letter D to delete the track. To edit a track, select the desired track. The track color will change from yellow to cyan. Then, press the letter K to enter track editing mode. If the user presses the letter D, the corresponding feature point on the current photo will be deleted. If the user clicks the left mouse button near a feature point, the position of that point is modified to lie below the cursor. After tracking plenty of features, the pose of photos are recovered and the position of the tracked features are connected by lines as seen here. If the yellow tracked lines clutter the scene, the user can toggle the lines by pressing the X key. When the pose of a photo is recovered, the reconstructed 3D points are projected onto the 2D photo and displayed with green X's. In order to gauge the accuracy of camera pose recovery, these projected points must coincide with the tracked feature points that are depicted with red plus symbols or red squares. The system displays the average and max reprojection error in pixels in the SketchUp status bar. To exit manual feature matching, press the right mouse button and select Done. The average error is displayed and the user is asked whether to go ahead with finalizing the camera pose recovery. At this point, the error is distributed globally to improve accuracy. Click Yes to proceed. After a few seconds, the number of photos whose poses were successfully recovered is displayed. Click OK.